Hello. On this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Microsoft Foundation class project, create some classes behind it, get some information from a window, and send it to a file. For that, I'm going to create a project, MFC application under Visual C++. OK, and next, uncheck everything, uncheck everything, and finish. So this is my window, if I run, this is what I get. So let's start changing this guy. I'm going to get a static text. And this text is going to read new weapon and then edit control and this add control I'm going to add a variable public access is fine category I want it to be a value notice that there is no string so we're gonna use C string Later, we're going to convert C string to string. And the variable name, new weapon. Finish. And then I'm going to get a button. I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to delete this text, by the way. Get a new button. Properties, if it's not here already. Record new weapon. Right click and add event handler. On click, yep, that's fine. So add and edit. If you notice, Visual Studio created for us the function already, and that's real nice. And above this function that we'll be changing, function to add a weapon. And above this function that we created, there are a lot of functions that Visual Studio created for us automatically. Do not change any of those for now. So I'm going to minimize all of them. And we're not going to touch those. So what we, what we want is to get this function to get the value from this box, from this edit control, and then save it to a file. First, let's get this string from the um, from your window. Update data, and this is very important. So have your update data here. And then let's get the C string that we created on the window. So C string new gun equals new weapon. So 
the new weapon is the variable from the dialog from the window if you remember we added a variable right here and that variable is called new weapon and I'm just gonna save it into a variable called new gun you really don't have to do this but I want to show you that we are working with a C string and not with a string so now let's convert the C string to string for that we're gonna use the CT to CA CT only temporary new gun and now let's create the string that we're gonna work with so string str new gun and let's pass the CT so it's complaining here because it doesn't know what a string is so let's tell them what a string is include string so now this code knows what a string is we also need the namespace standard and now we should not have any problem anymore or you can also not have this here and just put standard right in front here and that should be okay as well so now we have our string what we need now is to send to the file now we could write the source code right here to save this thing to the file but because this program is going to be writing to the file many times then we should create a class that will do that for us so then every time we want to save something to the file we just use an object from that class so let's create a class only to save that string to a file go to class view right click and add the class cpp class add and I'm gonna name this class weapon librarian hopefully I spell correctly weapon librarian looks right so this class called weapon librarian is going to control all the weapons that we have one of the functions that it needs is a function to record new weapon string new weapon oops it doesn't know what a string is so let's um, tell them what a string is now so let's use the name space standard so now it has no problems and remember this is the header file let's get the function and it's copy and paste to this implementation file this is my implementation file I need the class name here and now we can write the code to send the new weapon to a file so if you guys remember we need to 
include a f stream and let's start writing the code so off stream out file out file dot open the name of the file you want to open weapon.txt that's the file name that I'm choosing and then out file new weapon and I also want a new line by the end and after I do that out file dot close and I am done with this function here so this function saves the new weapon to a file so we are done with the weapon librarian class now we gotta go back to the function that gets called whenever we click on the record new weapon button and now we need to send to a file to do that we're gonna create a object and send it that information through the object so let's create the object now the object if you remember is called the weapon librarian oops it doesn't know what a weapon librarian is yet so let's tell them what a weapon librarian is by including the weapon librarian header now let's create an object of the weapon librarian weapon librarian So weapon librarian dot the function we created is called record new weapon and we're gonna send a string remember a string new gun and we are done so if we did not make any mistake if we run this now this box should show up We'll be able to enter a weapon types here click on record new weapon and once we do that whatever new weapon we have here is going to go to the uh, text file so debug start without debugging we have our window here which is good my new weapon is going to be um, code 45 so let's record the new weapon and let's open the file the txt file to see if the code 45 is there so go to your solution explorer right click on your project open folder in file explorer and here's our file And sure enough, code 45 is there. Now let's run again. This time let's pass a gun called a gun. Record weapon. Let's open the folder again and open the file and the AAA gun is there what if I do not want the file to be overwritten over and over again I want to see the last gun that was inserted as well as a new gun in other words I want to append the value all the time so for that let's go to the 
library in the CPP and when we open this file let's put a flag here and the flag is going to be append append new values uh oh oh cancel here run again this new gun now is going to be a BB gun and the uh, CC gun and then a DD gun let's open the file again and sure enough all your guns are here and that's it easy huh